one up, friends. Way too rough. It's way too rough to start filming earlier, but we got some big tuna on. That was me really excited about... Uh, here I go with my happy hands again. That was me really excited about going fishing in Oregon in, with my friend Tim and his son Austin. My buddy Gary invited us on a charter on the Skilligal. I fished on the Skilligal probably for six years with Gary. I don't know, somewhere around there. And we always caught some really great tuna catches like the ones you're about to see posted all around. Anyways, so this is how it started. We got out really deep. It was really rough. And... Uh, um, the captain got a call that 10 miles inshore of us, they were catching some big eyes. And so we turned and when the captain says it's too rough for me to run, we're going to have to troll in, you know, that tells you it's pretty rough. But anyways, uh, here's the sad part. We had six, maybe eight tuna on and couldn't get one of them. We got one to the boat when a school of dusky sharks tore it up. I think it was about eight of them. And every fish we caught after that was taken by sharks. So this is a really bad thing. And it's going to be really bad for the economy of Oregon Inlet if somebody doesn't do something. See, years ago, they shut off shark fishing because of people taking shark fins and shark fin soup and everything else. Okay. And that's fine. You can shut off shark fishing if there wasn't a lot of sharks. But there's more sharks now than there ever has been that I can ever remember. And I grew up in West Palm Beach, Florida, and I dove all my life, and I've never seen sharks like there are now. Same down south in Florida. You can watch Blue Gabe. You can watch South Florida Fishing Channel. You can watch Kelly Young. You can watch any of these. And they go and fish, and they just get flat tore up with sharks. There's too many sharks, and we need to reopen the season. I believe the season at Oregon Inn used to be a month or two months a year. And when... That was enough to control the shark population that you could actually get a nice fish on your boat, but no more. And somebody needs to do something, legislators, elected officials, somebody needs to do something about it. Or Oregon Inlet and all the fisheries down the East Coast like it for people who want to catch big fish like tuna, it's going to they're, it's gonna fail. Because I'm, I'm personally not going tuna fishing again. I don't go tuna fishing again until the shark population is, 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 is hindered in some point. And you know what? Now that I'm on my rant, the same for Red Snapper. Um, years ago, they shut it off. 20 years ago, I don't know. We can't go anywhere and not catch big Red Snapper now. Um, and look all over the channels. You see it. Everybody makes fun of it. The endangered Red Snapper. Oh, another endangered Red Snapper. Wake up, people. Because the red snapper eats small vermilions, eats small ver small sea bass, and there's going to be that, that population of those small fish is going to die off. There's too many red snapper. There's too many sharks. Let's get something going. But anyway, here's some footage of the tuna fishing. And then after the tuna fishing, after we lost all of our tuna to sharks, we decided to go and do some mahi fishing and went down on a weed line and, you know, picked. Uh, a, a bunch of small mahi which is another problem because if you can't catch tuna and everyone goes in and catches small mahi there's probably not going to be a lot of mahi left so cause and effect one thing leads to another but anyways here's some footage of the tuna and then I'll get to the mahi after that thanks for I did I stopped it go ahead come on Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. You gotta get that fish in, Tim. Come on, Y'all help him. I gotta yeah. get the fish. I got it. I got it. Yeah. Help him, guys. Yeah, I got Six inches and get a pint. Six inches and get a pint. 
Shark, get the boat. Fuck, Dolph. Fuck, Dolph. Fuck, Dolph. Fuck, Dolph. Hey. Yeah, you want to do that sport? Holy no. shit. I thought you meant I don't Wow. That's crazy. That's why they call it a big eye. Shark, get the boat. 
The thrill of victory and the agony of defeat. To the front, back to the front. Hey, uh, come here. It's your turn. That's sharp. Sharked again. to that fish tank. Just seen another one streak right there's one swimming with them there's one right behind them Let some line out. Shark, let some line out. There they're coming right up the middle. It ain't easy holding this camera. Let's go! Fish at the boat! Where are we going? We're going to make something out of this day. Something after him. I just saw a, a fin come through there. Probably a blue marlin. 
It might have been. Probably is if you saw a fish chasing it. I did. I seen a fin come through there, like a marlin well, fin sticking up in the air. I believe it. It's happened quite a bit lately. Get him short. His name is Shark. There's not sharks after his fish. Back to the action. Alright, you gotta walk your rod over, man. Yeah, you drill it all the way to 